Hello there, Miarty. This feels weird. Like this feel. What's that? What's that? Is that the the cleanse? The lens, guys. My nail just broke in the Ross Clark radiator. I was moving the radiator, and my nail got caught inside it and click. Hmm. Okay. I'm sick again. By the way, if you're wondering what this concoction is, um, it's ginger, lemon, honey, and iced tea. No I'm joking. No it is. Mm. Let's get to the video. I nearly broke the glass. Who won it? Who who won it? Which nigga little goon getting stool with the onion? Okay. Um. I. I hate racist pe racist comments, trolls, racist people, racism, race, anything to do with racism. I cannot. Fathom, fathom it. Okay, if you didn't know, my last, I put out a video uh, about sex day as a girl. And on the video, I was talking about culture vultures, taking our culture and all the far, far nine. Now, um, recently Black Panther came out, so I added Wakanda forever at the end. The video had nothing to do with Wakanda. Let me just explain that. It had nothing to do with Wakanda. Um, I recorded the video about a month before Black Panther came out, and it just so happened that, um, man's put Wakanda at the end, because I can put whatever I want to put. Guys, let me tell you the amount of... <laughs> The amount of hate comments I received, I was receiving about 10 racist comments a day. Literally, about 10 racist comments a day. I had to block and delete every single one. But then as I was blocking and deleting, I thought to myself, uh, I said to myself, <laughs> I said to myself, no, we're not doing, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I said to myself, Let's make a video about it. Hmm? So the so the ones the comments that I'm gonna read out were I'm gonna read one of the ones that actually made me disable. I don't even know if it's okay. Yeah, um, I'm going to read out the one that made me disable the comments because I had to disable the comments because it was getting so disgustingly rude that I had to disable the comments. I've never disabled comments on a video before, but this one was it was getting out of control because it was starting to um. It was starting to dim my mood. And the thing is, I'm very, um, what's the word? I'm very, um, optimistic, positive. I know you might watch my videos and think, God, she's always complaining. But this is the whole point of a rant channel. If you not like it, you can go watch your normal makeup channels, your normal hauls. You can go elsewhere. If you don't like it, you can move to the left, move, move, move to the left. You can go, right? Okay? I'm chatting bears. These last comments, um... They just make me feel like I can't be myself. <laughs> no, these last comments, like literally the last one that made me block, block the comments, disabled the comments, actually got to me because I was ill as well. And you know when you're ill, you're feeling vulnerable and you're like, this just isn't fair. I'm thinking, should I continue to do YouTube? Like, is this really what I want to do? Because I don't see myself as a YouTuber. I just make YouTube videos. Literally, I just do videos and I bounce. I don't watch other people's videos, really. I just upload. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangerine. So, let's begin, okay? Let me go and read. the first, And I'll put it, I'm going to put it in the... What do YouTubers say? I'm going to put it over here. I'm going, to, I'm going to put a snippet of it over here. So, let's start with the first comment that I have in my phone. So... First comment, okay, is why blacks always acting like they're old shit? Bleep. Like slavery. Bleep. Let's rewind. Why blacks always acting like they're old shit? Like slavery was over a hundred years ago, yet you moan like it was yesterday. Fuck your culture. You've shared it with the world. Fuck do you expect? Um, number one, sweetheart, my name, my name, when, when I came out my mum's womb, when I came out, my mum didn't call me black. She didn't call me blacks. So don't call me blacks. Honey, you see my name, my name's Ray Ellen. Don't even try and call me blacks. Okay? Secondly, who said that we're owed anything? Did I say that I want anything from this world? Did I? I just said, leave us alone. Just leave us alone. That's all I said. Basically in the video, I said, if you're not going to credit us, leave us alone. That's all I said. And I never... Do you know what? This comment, you're not even... 
Slavery was over 100 years ago, but do you understand it still plays a part in our lives? Racism is not dead. It still plays a part in our lives. We are still not equal with white people. So it still is very relevant. Don't talk on something you don't know. Honey boo boo child, you don't know anything about being black because you're not black. So don't talk on something that you don't know. Move upon the lift. Let's move to the next comment. We... Right, it's, this is what frustrates me. If you're gonna come in my comments, I beg of you speak English, I beg of you. I beg of you speak English. It shouldn't take me half an hour to figure out what you're trying to say. You went out your way to type a comment and you didn't even bother to speak English. Okay, whatever. We was Kong, Kangs and, and shit. Why don't you get your ass back to ape fricker? <laughs> if you hate us so damn much, okay. <laughs> Oh God, my nose is gonna bleed. Right, who did I say I hate? I didn't say I hate anyone. Did I say I hate anyone? I didn't mention any race. I didn't mention anything. If you guys haven't seen the video, um, I'm gonna put it down below in the, <laughs> in the comment. My eyelash is gonna fall off. This is Bants. Um, I never said I hated anyone, any race, nothing. I just said, if you now wanna credit us, yeah, move to the left. If you don't wanna credit us, leave us alone. That's what I said. That was the main thing in the video leave our culture alone, okay? Now, you're feeling triggered because you feel like I'm saying that I hate white people. I never said that. If I wanted to say that, I would have said that, point blank, period. You're getting offended, you're getting triggered because I'm openly talking about something that I feel passionate about. Everybody's so scared to talk about things. I don't care! I will say it how I wanna say it and I will not filter it. Who are you to tell me that I must, are you my mum? Are you my mum that you're telling me that I need to, I need to talk a certain way? If you, why do you hate us so much? I never said I hated anybody. <laughs> Stop using our technology. What are you talking about? Our houses, our cars. Okay, right, number one, our houses. This is not your house, this is my mom's house. <laughs> our cars, who, what are you even talking about? Stop coming to our countries, you ugly black ape. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is immortal combat. Like, this is, this is absolute banter. Ugly ape, honey. Right, number one, you know I'm not ugly. Let's just not pretend. Also, ape. Mm, do you know what? Um, I actually, apes have lovely colour skin. Like, if I could get that ape tone, honey. Ha! Move upon me. That didn't offend me. Let's just keep it moving. Let's get, let's get to the real gritty one, yeah? Okay, so this is the one that made me disable the comments, right? Let's have some tea. Some Kermit the Frog tea. Okay, you're mentally disabled. <laughs> right, you didn't even start your sentence with a capital O. <laughs> Can we just... Okay, you're mentally disabled. Okay, do you know like mental health isn't a joke? It's not a joke. I'm mentally disabled and if I was, now what? Okay. All your subscribers are stupid clucks. <laughs> Guys, they're saying that you're stupid. This person's saying that you're stupid clucks. <laughs> What's a cluck? What is that? What's a cluck? <laughs> Woo! Chickens, clucks, I don't get it. As well enough said. Okay, look, the English. All your subscribers are stupid clucks as well. Enough said. Okay, maybe I read that wrong. Full stop. Bear full stop, no capital letters. Come on, did you take English? Lastly, you're a racist pig. Okay, how am I a racist pig? What did what did I say in the video that made re What did I say in the video that was racist? What did I say in the video that was racist? Once again, I didn't mention any race. People perceived it how they want to perceive it. If I do, if I do a certain voice, oh my God, like, what are you playing at? If you see that as a white person, then you see it as a white person. If you see it as an Asian person, you I never said a race, I never said anything. If I'm a racist pig, do you know what's sweet? You're calling me racist, but now you are opening the doors for you to be racist. Very, very sweet. Okay, let's continue. You're a racist pig, thank you, babes that should be dropped into, into the Marin, Marina's Trench. God, if I'm reading that wrong, excuse me. Chained to a six ton weight. <laughs> Why six ton? Why not eight? I'm confused. What does that even mean? 
I should be chained to a weight. Okay. Leg gains. <laughs> this comes from a mixed man. Wow. So you're mixed. You're mixed. And why are you telling me you're mixed? I don't care what colour you are. I don't care what race you are. Um, wow. Okay. Comes from, from a man. So you're that triggered by a woman that you want to come and disrespect a woman. And you're mixed. So you've got black in you. And you completely went past my what I was trying to explain in the video, but you're, you've got black in you. So, okay. Um, you legit made me sick to my stomach. Wow. Do you know what sick to your stomach means? <laughs> Do you know, I don't think I've ever been sick to my stomach because it takes a lot to make me sick to my, wow, triggered. For sharing DNA with such a despic, right, DNA, we're not brothers, we're not, we're not related, so don't ever think that we share DNA. Can you move upon me? To me, you're not black. If you're talking this way to me, I don't see you as a black man, you're mixed. If that's how you want to talk to me and you want to disrespect me, then in my eyes, you're not black, because we, black people, we're supposed to stand together. So if you want to disrespect me, like I say all the time, move upon the left. <laughs> Baby girl, this is not even, I haven't even finished fin reading this comment. I stick to my stomach, sharing DNA with such a despicable creature. Legit, I hope we go to Africa and learn that it's a piece of shit. Continent and, con con and countries on it are shit. Wakanda is not real, stupid cunt. Okay, cunt is such a sharp word, but so freaking funny. Okay, let me ex just explain something to you. In the video, I, not, I didn't once say Wakanda, Wakanda for life. Wakanda is, oh my God, I wanna go to Wakanda. I put Wakanda forever because I just want Black Panther and I was feeling Wakanda-ish. Are you mad? Don't ever... The thing is, is that I feel like people have read the, the, the name of the video and got triggered. Me writing Wakanda had nothing to do with the video. Like, it had nothing to do with the video. I just wrote Wakanda forever. I never said Wakanda was real. I never said I'm going to Wakanda for my next holiday. I never said any of that. I just wrote Wakanda forever. Because I'm sure if I took up Wakanda forever, these people wouldn't be getting triggered. People are so upset that black people are standing together and, and they're, they're into being proud of being black. And now we've got a movement and we're saying we're kind of forever, whatever. People are getting upset. Okay, sorry, we haven't finished the comment, guys. Um, seriously, you are de you are devolving humanity and I hope you never breed in your life. Can you imagine? That's deep. That's some deep stuff right there. You know, guys, when I read this comment, I actually prayed. Me and my me and my me and my partner prayed because this for someone to be wishing such bad on me that you wish that I don't breed. Wow. Wow. What a time to be alive. Wow. You are not worthy of having children and raising them since obviously your mother and father dropped you on your mentally disabled head one too many times. Wow. Who are you to tell me that I'm not worthy to have children? Are you God? Who are you to tell me that? Actually deep it. You know when I heard, when I read this, yeah, do you know what I heard in my head? And never G-I-V-E-U-P and keep your H-D-A-D-U-P and never G-I-V-E-U-P and keep your H-D-A-D-U-P. Look, you lot, let me tell you something, yeah? People try and come at you with stuff like this because they're either really triggered, they're trolled by something you said, they're, they try and come at you with stuff that they feel like you're insecure about. Number one, I love being black. I'm out here trying to make as much beautiful black babies as I can. How very dare you come to me and talk about something that I'm passionate about. Nothing that you say will make me degrade my, I will never shut my mouth. Do you understand that? I will even talk even louder now because you're so triggered. I hope you're reading this. Nope, that's not it. Yeah! I hope you're watching this and thinking to yourself, um, I'm not triggered by what you said. I find it amusing that the world is full of people with so much hatred. Like, you've got so much hatred in your heart that you go to sign in to your Google account and write a comment to someone that you don't even know. You don't even know me. That is insane. And if I saw you in the, in, in, in the flesh, would you come and say that to my face? Would you come and say it to my face? I'm just curious, please. Let me know if you'd come and say that to my face. And the fact that you've gone and spoke about my future and having children and my mum and dad. <laughs> insanity. Literally insanity. I just want to say, yeah, to people that, um, yeah, I'm putting it back down because freaking heavy, mate. I don't know when it got this heavy. Um, 
I honestly just want to thank every single person, yeah, that watches my videos and understands where I'm coming from. Um, if you if you hear a point in my video and you don't agree with it, I would love for you to comment and explain to me why you don't agree with it because that's what it's here for. I want to debate with people. Um, I don't like when people come in my comments with this like with this like persona like they can tell me what what's what. Do I even know you? Do I even know you for you to come and comment and tell me, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. I shouldn't. Who are you, please? My channel is not for anyone but me and for my people who want to watch it. If you don't like it, like I say all the time, move on the left. There's so many makeup channels and so many haul channels that are doing videos. If you don't like it, you can go. I don't care. So imagine, I disabled the comments, yeah? This girl, I'm not even gonna cuss her. I'm not even gonna, cause we're not here for that. We're not here, I'm not here to cuss um, what people look like or whatever. But this, let's just call her a troll. Cause that's what she is. She's a troll who lives underneath the bridge. Came to comment. So I disabled the comments. She came to comment on another video. Do you know what that takes for you to be that? I'm so triggered that I need to go on another video to comment. Okay. As for leave your, your okay. This is how, you, this is how you know she's an idiot. As for leave our culture alone, Wakanda forever video. Wakanda does dies not a, look the English. Ah! If you're gonna come on my comment, at least Wakanda dies not exist. Maybe like the place you live in instead. Asking it was mainly complaints about people complimenting you. Definitely not subbing, no ounce of logic or common sense. I'm these, I'm these. Shake my head, stop whining about everything. Jeez. Okay, let's, let's chop this up. Let's chop this up like a fake. Let's, let's pull off the layers like an onion, okay? Wakanda dies not exist. Maybe like the place you live in instead. What are you even talking about? Asking, asking it was mainly complaints about people. Okay, basically she's trying to, because she, obviously she can't get her words out, yeah? She's just... She's finding it difficult to write a normal comment. Um, she's basically saying that my culture video was me complaining that people were complimenting me. Right, no, you stupid, stupid woman. If you understood where I was coming from, you'd understand that when people comment on your headscarf or whatever, it's not to compliment you. It's the tone that they use where it's patronising. Now, you obviously, you're not black. So you don't understand what I was trying to say. But that's fine. That's fine. Because I don't comment on things that have nothing to do with my race. Do I? No. <laughs> You're trying to say that I was complaining about people complimenting me. Okay, if I was, all right, now what? What now? Are you, what, now what? Definitely not subbing. I don't care if you don't sub. Do you, do you think that I want people who feel this way about me to sub to my channel? If you don't like me, why are you subbing to my channel? <laughs> it's common sense. Shake my head. Stop whining about everything. Jeez. If you don't like that I'm whining about something, like I say, I say it all the time, go elsewhere. I don't care. That's the whole point of a rant channel. I'm not going to rant about something that I love, am I? You stupid, stupid woman. I'm ranting to get it out of me. And if you think that I'm being negative or I'm complaining, okay, cool. Why are you watching it then? You sat through that whole video to then come and jump on another video to comment. If you don't like that I'm complaining, Go away, go, go away. I, I, I don't have time for it, I don't. So again, guys, you know I said I disabled the comments, so another person jumped on the Valentine's video and said, I just wanted to let you know that niggas are really, really funny, thank you. You know what, people actually say that I'm quite funny, but the fact that you said really, really funny, thank you. And you called me a nigger, that doesn't offend me. Nigger. Cause you know when they say nigger, they feel like they have to say nigger, like the E and the R go up. Nigga, like they've got so much anger. You nigger. Okay, I am a nigger, now what? I really like their rubbery lips and the wool on their head. Um, That's not a cuss either. I love my lips, thank you. Um, The wool on my head. It's actually quite, it's, wool is actually quite soft, so thank you. It's like, I put like, con like sometimes I put like conditioner and stuff in it. And like, it like sits quite neatly actually, I must say, it does feel like wool. Thank you. I think this is turning into a compliment, you know. It's funny. Um, niggas are well cool. Thank you. Stop. I had to comment on this video because I wanted to know when you are going back to Wakanda. Um, well, I haven't got actually much leave left. So I don't think anytime soon. 
Um, yeah, no, I'm trying to get a British Airways. Oh God, I'm trying to get a British Airways ticket actually, because I don't want to go EasyJet. Do you know what I mean? You know, you know how EasyJet is. I want to go when it's probably like July, I might go to Wakanda, yeah. And can I come with you so you can teach me how to speak niggerable? <laughs> Um, like I said, I haven't got much leave, but literally when I get the leave, I'll let you know, I'll email you and we can probably like, we can book it on the same day. We can even wear the same bikinis if you want. And you want to speak niggerable. Oh, nigger babble. She, oof, nigger babble. And show me the magic crystals. Um, you see, oh God. You see, um, I don't know if you know, but black people, we actually... We hold gold, like crystals and gold, because we're so rich and beautiful. Um, but that's something that we actually can't show you. Um, it's quite a personal thing. Yeah. The funny thing about niggers, our niggers are wonderful things. They're bouncy, 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 wonderful things. One, two, three, four, five. She bouncy five times. Thank you. Bouncy wonderful things. Niggers. Another funny thing I like about niggers, as well as the rubble lips, is they're not racist at all. I really like the niggers. They are well cool and stuff. You, literally so sweet. Thank you so much. Guys, all the niggers, all the niggers that are watching this said we're cool and stuff. What, what, what now? Do you know what I mean? Now we've got validation. Oh my gosh. So that's that comment. And then this comment, Um, I didn't actually see this one. My boyfriend that um edits my videos has my login so he when he when I get um notifications he sees them first so he literally deleted this one before I could even read it but he sent it to me but anyway um without the earrings and makeup well, let's see this person's face okay cool um without the earrings and makeup it is extremely difficult to tell if you're a, wo a man or woman without the earrings and makeup when did you see me without my earrings and makeup? Oh wait, right, there's nothing about your facial features, period. That's very odd. There's nothing about your facial features. <laughs> Who said I wanted anything to be about my face? What are you even talking about? I've got a gorgeous nose, a gorgeous mouth, wonderful teeth. What do you even mean? Plus those eyebrows are way too thick. Guys, are my eyebrows way too thick? Do you think I care? <laughs> I could draw my eyebrows on with a Sharpie. Me, why, why are you so, look, like I say all the, ah, oh, I've said this before. People feel like when they come for your looks that you're gonna get triggered. Um, my eyebrows are thick. That's the whole point. I'm trying to make them look thick, honey boo, -boo. Do you think I don't, do you think I don't know this? I do my eyebrows every single day. I know they're thick. Now what? Now, now you've said that, what are we gonna do with that? Your eyebrows are thick. Okay, now what? are way too thick in capitals. They look like they're angry um, caterpillars. That's exactly what they are. Um, I actually got them from, you know, like there's a a zoo, London Zoo down the road. There was like, they were giving out, out like free caterpillars. And um, I ordered like two from their site and I've literally stuck them on my brows. So that's actually what they are. Fun fact, having an argument on you, in your face, make them thinner and properly arched. Make them thinner, not even please. Can you, not even, please, can you make them thinner? I'm sending you an eyebrow pencil. You didn't say anything, you didn't even say please. I'm not going to now until you say please. <laughs> what the hell happened to your front hairline edges? Okay, this one, um, once again, we've got to sip some tea for this one. That part kind of frustrated me because um, with my hair, I was very, 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 very skeptical about cutting my hair because it's a very like, I wouldn't say bold look, but there's nowhere to hide when you cut your hair. This is, this is, this is it. So um, when he wrote that, I just thought like, do you understand how hard it is to um, cut your hair and just wear it like that? Like there's days where I'm just like, oh my God, I hate my hair. Um, my edges might not grow. And that is the whole reason that I cut my hair because my edges won't, catching up to the back of my hair. Um, what's frustrating and upsetting is that this person doesn't know me. You don't know if I'm suffering. You don't know if um, I had like um, alopecia. Is that alopecia? Yeah, you don't know if I had alopecia or um, I just um, 
was diagnosed with cancer. Like you don't know people's story. So when you come in someone's comments and you ask, you you, you ask with such anger, cause there's anger here because um, he's done question marks. Like he's actually confused. Um, when you do that, it's very, very personal. And I took that personally, even though he doesn't know me and I know I shouldn't take it personally. In the moment I took it personally because I just thought like, you don't know me! You don't know me! You don't know my story! You don't know anything! Like, move! Move! When I read it, like I said, guys, I was ill. So I was w reading it from like a really vulnerable place and just thinking, oh my God, like I'm fucking done. Like, I'm going to grow out my hair now. La, 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 la. But then I thought, who the hell are you? My edges are, are, are very, very thin. Yes. Now what are we going to do about that? Are my edges going to pay your bills? Are my edges going to feed your kids? Why do you care? You look like a 40 year old man with a terrible receding hairline trying to hide a bald spot. Stop wearing bloody wigs. Okay, brilliant. You look like a 40 year old man. If I look like a 40 year old man, I look quite good for a 40 year old man. I must say, my skin must look really... Hmm. I look like a 40 year old man with... Okay. What 40 year old man looks like me? If, he... if you guys know a 40 year old man that looks like me, I need to meet him. Needs to meet him, it's probably my dad. Stop wearing bloody wigs. Okay, I haven't worn a wig in about a year. Mm, is it longer? When did I cut my hair? Probably a year. I haven't worn wigs in about a year. Um, you're not my dad, you're not my mum, you're not my boyfriend, you're not my sister to be telling me that I need- Oh my God, I just broke my tree. You're not anyone that I need to be taking advice from. Stop wearing wigs. I haven't been wearing wigs. And wigs actually help your edges if you wear them right. Who the hell are you? You are a white man who looks like he just came off death row and you wanna come and tell me that I shouldn't wear wigs, okay? Stop wearing wigs and weaves. Eva, grow your own hair naturally. What do you think I'm doing, you spastic? What do you, what is this? What is this? What is this? Is this not natural? Is this not growing naturally? You fuck at I fuck at it. See what I mean? People don't even know what they're talking about. Or get your own hair strengthened, permed, or styled. Okay. Get your own hair straightened. What are you even talking? How am I going to straighten this? I can't even pinch it. Number one, I can't straighten it. Because look how short it is. You stupid son of a gun. Secondly, perm. This is how I know that you're, you're very, 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 your, your head's gone. Your head's fried. How are you gonna tell me to perm my hair? So you're telling me to help grow my edges back by perming my hair. Okay. Yep, you've gone mad. Perm, the most strongest chemical that you could add to your hair. You're telling me to put it on my hair. To do what? <laughs> you haven't got a clue what you're talking about. You're not black. Don't talk to me about my hair if you are not black and you don't know what is even happening here? Don't speak to me about something that you do not know. You're telling me to perm my hair to grow my edge. The world's gone mad. Yep. Weaves and wigs are ridiculous. Okay, thank you. So literally guys, that was the comment. So I had one, two, three, four, about six comments that I screenshotted and um, I wanted to talk about. I just literally, I just want to say, I just want to say to you guys, right? that um growing up was wasn't it wasn't that difficult for me but when you're in school and you see all the guys go for the light skin girl and whatever it does play a big part on how you see yourself and um it's taking me a while to love my skin and to love who i am and to love my features and everything and i'm so glad that i'm I love who I am and I'm and I'm unapologetically proud to be black because if I didn't love myself and I read those comments, you could imagine, like, I could have literally done something to myself. It's so, so sad. And I just want to literally say that anyone who's experienced racism or whatever, do not, do not entertain it. If it's online, delete, report it, block it, or whatever, do not... There's no need to comment back because the person's so far gone, so ignorant that they're not even going to understand what you're saying. And they're obviously trying to do it to get you down. So I just want to thank every single person that um, has been watching my videos and supporting me. I'm not going to um, bring the comments back on that video because there's really no need. Like I've I read all your lovely comments on, on it and... Um, 
I just really, really want to thank every single person. So, yeah, so I'm just trying to do something. This is my freaking tune. So I'm going to play, this is my anthem. This song, it's all we got. We've, this is all each other has. Let's go. Give me your R T Y. That's all we need. And give S B E C T and never G I V E U P and keep your H D A D U P. Keep your head up. Keep striving. Keep God at the forefront. I could cry because I'm so happy with life. I'm so excited for the future i want to literally thank you to everybody um i just don't know who else to thank oh my god no no but for real um thank you so much but anyway yeah um guys make sure that you thumbs up subscribe and comment below <laughs> okay i'm reloading